Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Holthauser here for another science lesson. And in our science lesson today, we're going to be talking about the ABCs of scientific drawing. In science classes, and scientists always make drawings of what they're studying. Now, if I was making a drawing of something I wanted to learn about, I think I'm going to have to make it look real. I'm going to have to look at whatever I'm drawing. I'm going to have to look and see, is it pointy? Is it round? What shape is it? Is it smooth? Is it bumpy? I'm going to have to look at that and really think about it so that I can make it accurate, which means real. Then when I draw it, I want to see all of the details. So I'm going to make it big. Now, what I'm drawing might be this size, but I want to make it big so I can see all the details of what I'm drawing. And then I want to make it colorful. That's our C, A, B, C. Colorful. I want to make it the color it really is because if I'm studying an orange pepper, I'm going to want to see what color it is, I'm going to want to see the bumps it has on it. I want to be able to tell it's smooth. And then I want to put that green stem on there. So let's start out. And my, my pepper's about, about the size of my hand. But I want you to see everything. So I'm going to start out by making some bumps. And then I'm going to come down and go around. And these bumps kind of come down and give it a little bit. You can see it a little bit there. Now, this I want to make. I want to make this colorful. So I'm going to put in the orange. Now, my pen is there we go. So now I have a nice orange pepper. But I'm missing something. I heard that. You know I'm missing the stem. I'm almost there. I just want to get it just a little bit more colorful. Because I want it to look as much like this as I can. So when you are doing your scientific drawings, you can use you can use crayons, you can use pencils, you can use markers. But the easiest thing that I found are the colored pencils. So since I'm doing this on a dry erase, I'm using dry erase markers. Now I've got this for my green stem, and my green stem went around the bottom so I want to make sure that I so show how it goes around the bottom the top part there so I'm gonna put it and it's got little sticks that go down toward the pepper and those are what hold the pepper on the vine so that's what keeps the pepper on the vine so we've got our our pepper. What do you think? Do you think that's a good one? Is it accurate? Does it look real? About as real as I can make a drawing. Is it big? Well, it's a lot bigger than our pepper, and I can see the details, so that's good. And is it colorful? Yes, it is. It's our orange. So, we want to make sure that we get all of those in. And let's add a little more color over here because it looks like it. my pen ran out. There you go. Now, that to me looks more like the pepper. So, I've got my pepper. But what if I'm going to... What am I going to do if I've got something with little bitty spots inside it? 
So let's think about this. I've got something else here. I have a tomato. And look at all the seeds in that tomato. So I want to draw this so I show the seeds. Now, the seeds are in fruits. You're going to learn this on the next lesson because you get to do something cool. So these are seeds inside the fruit, and I want to make sure that I'm able to show this fruit, which is the tomato, and the seeds. So let's get, and this one, we're going to put sideways so it will show. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to go down here, and that one kind of goes a little bit like that. It's an oval shape, and that oval shape ran out here. That oval shape is the outside, and then on the inside, it got a little bit lighter because the peel on the outside is darker, so it's a little lighter on the inside, and it has the seeds. So I'm going to fill it in, except for where the seeds are. So if I look again, because we have to keep looking so that we're doing it just as we see. So if I look again, I see that it's got Kind of an orange area, a pinkish area in the center, and then it's got this gooey area with all those seeds. Look at all those seeds. Okay, so that's going to be our gooey area with seeds. And there's another one up here. So we're going to fill that in. And... It's hard to do with markers because you can't make them lighter and darker. That's why crayons and colored pencils are better. But we'll try. So this is going to be the inside of my tomato because it's a little bit lighter than the outside. And then it's, uh, it's really light in the center. So let's see if we can get that just so. So we've got it, two colors, and let's see, there we go, that's pretty good. Miss Holthauser, it doesn't have to be perfect, Miss Holthauser's is definitely not perfect, but it's going to let you see what it really looks like and what the seeds look like. So I'm going to put that red line around this dark area one more time. Show that red tomato. Show those red seed, red places inside. But where I put the seeds, I'm going to make them look big too. So I'm going to put the seeds right here. There's one seed. Two seeds, three seeds, and it has a lot, so I'm going to put them in. Four. So the tomato has lots and lots of seeds, and I am putting them right where they go. Right where they go. But. You can see, I made my tomato big. It looks like the tomato I had in my hand. They look very similar. And then I put all the seeds in it. But you can see that the seeds are, they're, no, they're oval seeds too. So what I want you to do is practice on something. You can practice on a pepper you could practice on the inside of a pepper. Oh, look. Well, that's got seeds inside it, too. Ooh, maybe that's a fruit in science. So, you can practice on anything that you have. And the whole thing we're practicing 
is to make it accurate, big, and colorful. And this is the way we do our science drawings. So please do a science drawing on something you have in your refrigerator. You can make it, or a fruit. Do a science drawing on a fruit, or a vegetable, a plant, something that's pretty easy. You notice that I picked things that weren't real detailed. I didn't, like I didn't come over here and say, oh, I think I'll draw that. That would take a long time and it would be really hard. I chose something that was pretty easy. A tomato and a pepper. So choose something that's pretty easy, draw it, and make it as real as you can. Okay, boys and girls, that's it for this lesson in Accurate, Big, and Colorful, the ABCs of Scientific Drawing. I will see you later.